Yo, what's up everybody? I'm going to go through the menu system on your Ender 6. Um, so, first off, I want to note we have an SD card here in the side. Um, so, when you go to the print menu, uh, all of your files that you have available to print are going to be on this menu. And then you select one and then you click print. Um, so I'm not going to be printing this currently, um, so let me stop that. Uh, so your temperature menu, um, this probably isn't going to be much use to you. Um, you can automatically uh, set the nozzle temperature. Uh, so the nozzle is, you know, just so no one feels embarrassed. Well, I'm not going to be really good. So the nozzle is this piece right here uh, that is where the molten plastic uh, is extruded out of the printer um, so you can preheat the nozzle temperature uh, or you can manually set it uh, and the bed temperature as well so this is the bed you might hear it called the build plate uh, but it is heated and the reason it is heated is to uh, help the adhesion of the part that you're printing. Um, it also can uh, aid in removal of the part from the bed. Um, and I mean, there's just, like I said, this is probably never going to be used. But so here's your settings menu um, move. Uh, so I'm going to, you know, you can move the, the nozzle around uh, with, with these and then with this you can move the build plate or the bed in either direction. Um, so leveling, I have previously mentioned leveling uh, in a different post um, and you can see right here this is where uh, well this is where it thinks the nozzle is but it's wrong. Um, that's funny. In any case, so when you click the level button it sends all of the components home automatically. So home for the nozzle end is in the back right corner and home for the build plate is all the way at the top right there. So let me let this go home. It can't go any faster. I mean it could go faster but I can't make it any faster so we're not gonna burn out our motors I guess. So So once it gets home, you've got these uh, buttons. When you click one, like two, the nozzle goes up to this location. When you click uh, three, the nozzle goes to this location. When you click four, it goes there. And then obviously, you know, the other ones as well. So this is great because if you saw the video that I posted previously, how to level your bed, I'm going to go here. Um, the nozzle gets really close right and if you take a sheet of paper well, let me I think I have nozzle I have bed leveling slips already cut so what you want to be able to do is slide a piece of paper between your nozzle and your bed and have very little friction I you know I posted that video uh, and I would very, I highly advise you to go watch that video. Um, now that you know how to do bed leveling on your Ender 6, uh, the other guy, he had a program which, which his nozzle went around the build plate all the time. We don't have that. We could make one, but there's no reason to. So what you do is you put your sheet of paper there, move it around until there's a little bit of friction, and then you move your nozzle there, do the same thing, and you move it there, and do the same thing, and you move it there, and you do the same thing. Always forget number one. Just forget number one entirely, okay? So number one is the one in the middle. Just forget it. Then it's like you're going to do the same thing as you do with a uh, lug nuts on a car. Go back to this corner and do this corner again, and do this corner again, and do this corner again. I will show you me leveling the bed. I will record a video of me actually leveling this bed. But this is just an introduction to that. So back, uh, we're going to have language. Obviously, we don't need that. And then refuel. 
So this is what I'm going to be doing now. Um, refuel is I'm going to be taking my filament out of this contraption. So this is what we call the Bowden tube. You have your filament, which goes into this. This is my filament runout sensor. Uh, this is my extruder. This is my Bowden tube. So the filament goes through the filament runout sensor, through the extruder, through the Bowden tube. The Bowden tube guides the filament directly into, well, I'm not gonna, yeah, directly into the nozzle. This is not gonna focus, unfortunately. But it guides it directly into the nozzle. Now, for me to remove the filament, I'm going to be removing this spool of filament. For me to remove this, my nozzle has to be hot because the last time I printed, there was filament in the nozzle. When the nozzle cooled down, the filament stuck to the nozzle. So when I go to this refuel station, I clicked feed. It said, hey, you can't feed because your nozzle wasn't hot. Would you like to heat the nozzle up? I said yes. So now it is currently heating the nozzle up. And when the nozzle is hot enough, the plastic that is inside the nozzle will loosen up, become molten, essentially. And I can come here and I can actually remove this. Now, to do this, I will uh, click this mechanical lever. And then I will essentially... Oh gosh, I'm going to drop the camera. Do Okay, sorry, I dropped the camera. So first, let me explain a couple things about this before we actually get to refueling. So the filament runout sensor, it is a limit switch. It is connected directly to the board that operates the printer. And when you have a piece of filament running through this, so it goes in this side and it comes out this side, the limit switch is clicked. And whenever your roll of filament or your spool of filament runs out, there's going to be no more filament inside the filament runout sensor. And so all it is going to do is just disengage the limit switch. And when it does that, it tells the printer, hey, you have no more filament. And what this particular printer does on the screen, it comes up and it says, hey, you're out of filament. Would you like to refuel your filament? And you say yes. This is a safety measure because if you're printing a very large object, say you get 20 hours in and you run out of filament, and the and and it doesn't if the printer does not realize that it runs out of filament the nozzle is just going to keep going around and around and around but it has no filament to extrude so you're just going to be printing air so this is a safety feature because if you run out of filament the nozzle stops in its place it gives you the ability to put more filament in and then it, you can resume the print so that's why this is here this is a very very good uh contraption to have if you're smart, you should never run out of filament, but who knows? Yeah, I, it, who knows? Maybe you think you have more filament than you actually have. And I apologize, this is a little bit difficult to see because of the black filament that I have in here, but you can see the filament comes in one side and, come, and goes out the other side. This is the extruder. It is operated by two gears. Um, there's a couple different kinds of extruders out there, but there's a gear on this side and a gear on this side. The filament goes between the gears. The gears have clamping pressure and the, the, the filament is basically pulled through the gears, which is how it moves into this Bowden tube and how it goes into the nozzle. So when one of the gears spins, it, uh, it bites into the filament. The filament is just plastic. It bites into the filament and it just pulls it along. Um, and so obviously that is the motor that operates the extruder. Um, so the way that you manually uh, get filament out, because this there, the filament is between the gears with a bunch of clamping pressure, you have to manually click this, right? And then there's no more clamping pressure and then you can just pull the filament out. Now I cannot do this with uh, one hand and one hand on the camera so I will have to end the video here but you pull this lever and that gives you the ability to either feed manually feed filament into this machine or to pull filament out so when you refuel you click this lever pull out any filament that is in there then you put a new spool of filament here run it through the filament runout sensor then you click this again, 
and then you manually feed filament all the way up this tube until you reach the nozzle and then you stop. Any case, this was a short couple of videos, or I guess it was one video it turned into two. Uh, that is just a way to explain the uh, basic components of your printer.